What's up, YouTube? Today, we have a very special video. I have with me Erica Mendez, who you may know as the voice of Ayaka from Genshin Impact or Mash from FGO. Erica, thank you for taking some time to do this interview with me today. Yeah, of course. Uh, so how did you get a press badge? Uh, do people actually watch your content? Do people actually watch your content? So do you play Genshin Impact? Here and there. Uh, I think my adventure rank is like, 18. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, maybe if you were adventure rank 60 like me, you probably could have also gotten the press badge. I'm literally a guest of honor. <laughs> uh. Anyways, uh, so who do you think is the better Kamisato sibling? Hayaka, obviously. <laughs> yes, that is the correct answer. <laughs> Did so, I pass the test? Uh-huh. <laughs> Did you know that they actually nerfed Ayaka? Did they? Yes. Here, I have some. Why would they do that? <laughs> Oh, that's so th how they nerfed her. <laughs> this is what Ayaka was supposed to be. Okay. <laughs> but instead, we ended up with this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Oops, hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a tragedy, isn't it? So, so sad. <laughs> Do you have a favorite Genshin character or like a main character that you play in the game? Oh, uh, I'm assuming I'm not allowed to say Ayaka. Um, <laughs> let's see. I was using who was i using um oh what is her name uh yanfei i was using yanfei cool cool she's pretty yeah. funny yeah yeah she is fun so when you were coming up with ayaka's voice were there any like previous works that you've done that you like took inspiration from to sort of come up with the voice for her um not really they uh they just were kind of like she's you know she has ice powers she's a princess so i just kind of like came up with something kind of light and airy mm -hmm. um and her voice is kind of, I mean, cause I did her voice before the game even came out. So I was like, I had already recorded a lot of my lines. Like I think at least a year or two prior to her actually being released. Okay. Yeah. Um, so her voice has kind of changed a little bit. It's not as airy or sometimes it is depending on like the situation. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of like, I feel like learning as I go with her, yeah, but um, yeah. Yeah. She, I mean, I cause just, the type of character that's like an elegant little princess and i think you really like nailed the voice for oh thank her, you so. yeah she's really fun kind of a similar question but was there anything specific that made you interested in like doing ayaka or did they like reach out to you to do that uh i was just asked to audition and she was literally the only character they gave me okay. to audition for so i didn't even know what any of the other characters were at the All beginning right. and i like since then i had been given like random auditions like they don't even tell you it's actually for genshin when you audition oh okay. um sometimes like if you play video games like i do like you can kind of pick yeah. up on the style and you know uh -huh. it's genshin uh but um i audition for them sometimes but i don't expect them to cast me because i'm already a pretty big character right but yeah she was the only one i auditioned for and i ended up booking it so yeah right, awesome anything about Ayaka now that you've like you've done the role for her is there anything about her that you would say you kind of relate to as her character? Um, not necessarily. I mean, very vague things. Like I have siblings too. I'm yeah. the oldest sibling in my uh, family, but um, yeah, I mean, obviously I'm not a princess. <laughs> right. Um, so uh, yeah, not particularly, but I, I definitely like uh, respect like what kind of character she is right. and just how like willing she is to just kind of do anything for her country, her people, yeah. right. um, and her brother her friends so mm -hmm. uh, I, I think she's really admirable as a character in general yeah for sure have you uh, have you played her story quest in the game i haven't i haven't had a lot of time oh to like God. really dive into genshin because yeah. i play other uh like big mmos that i am kind of like fully invested yeah. in but one day i'll get around to it for mm -hmm. sure i keep thinking about it but then like work comes out so yeah right yeah it's it's a really fun one and honestly it's probably Ayaka in that story quest is the closest thing to a girlfriend that most Genshin Impact players <laughs> oh, will no. probably ever have. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the story quest, but have you seen like the dance that she does? I have actually, okay. yeah. So, you know, she does that dance and she still has her socks on. She and does. she's in the water. Yep. How does that make you feel? Uncomfortable. Um, I definitely would have taken my socks off before I went in there. I yeah. don't know why she didn't, but you know, that's a, a mystery that only she will know. Only uh, Mihoyo will know. So. so aside from like just doing Ayaka, like we talked about, you played the roles of some like characters in some pretty heavy hitting animes, like some really big titles. Mm -hmm. Like you've done Shield Hero, mm -hmm. you've done a Gretsuko, 
Um, yeah, all those have like multiple seasons, and mm -hmm. yeah. it's, um, it was really. Yeah, you've been uh, in '86. Oh, you've yeah. been in uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. another one that's pretty big on okay, Netflix um, right now. And then and you've also, you've also, you've been in. Uh, uh, I killed slimes for 300 years, and yeah. then you were in The Time I Got Reincarnated by a Slime, yeah. and uh, The Promise very Neverland, similar names. and Three Zero. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, all, all isekai, yeah. <laughs> oh, and then most importantly, you did uh, Sailor Moon. Uh, mm -hmm. what, what was it like voicing Uranus? <laughs> we specifically pronounced it Uranus so that oh, okay. <laughs> we would avoid those jokes, but I get them all the time anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, voicing Uranus is really cool because I get to say I'm a Sailor Guardian and who gets to say that? So at what point in your career did you realize like, you know, you made it? Like, I still thing? don't feel like I've you made it. No, no, there's, yeah, I just, uh, I just want to keep going, you know, keep working and never feel content because then it's like, what do you have to, to go from there, you know, if you feel like you've made it? Um, I mean, I've been doing this for like 10 years. I don't feel like I'm necessarily new, but I'm not like a veteran either. So, I mean, I just hope I keep working until I get too old to do it anymore, really. Do you have a favorite genre of anime that you like to I watch? like Slice of Life. Yeah. So anything that has like a good emotional story right. to it that'll make me cry, I love. Yeah, I know you've done uh, one of the shows like that you voice acted in. Your Lie in April, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that one destroyed me. Yep. Um, it's I like, just watched it recently. Mm -hmm. It's still just as painful. Yep. It's like, you know it's coming, but it still hurts. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Always gets to me. Any favorite character that you have that you've done the voice for? Oh, that's so hard. Yeah. Uh, everybody always asks that question uh -huh. and I never know like a specific one to say because they're all like my kids, you know, yeah. uh, my voice children. Um, but some obviously like stick out like Ryuko obviously was like a big one for me. Um, Aladdin and Magi the Labyrinth of Magic was great because it was like my first like actual lead. Um, and I love Bernadetta from Three Houses because she's a very exaggerated version of the social anxiety that I also yeah. have, um, but try to hide as much as I can. So yeah, I mean, those are just a few that I could name that I really like relate to in some way or just had a very personal connection to. Mm -hmm. The first time I heard your voice, uh, I think was as MASH from FGO okay. in the uh, in the FGO VR. Was that the first time that you did like No, uh, that was, like the second or third, I right. think. Oh, yeah. I had they voiced had a, her, they did a, um, like, like an OVA, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, they did an OVA. And then I think they did a movie for like the first yeah, part of the story. Yeah, they've done a few the since game. then. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a few times that I've voiced her. VR happened, I think like a few years after we did okay. the, the first OVA. Yeah. I forget what it was called because there's so right. many of them and they all have really long names. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you ever play that VR game? The VR one? Yeah. No. Okay. I watched videos of it just to kind of see. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, don't. Don't play it. Stop. Stop what you're doing right now. Boy. Look at me so much. <laughs> Why did she get closer? What the fuck? It's <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, recording it was yeah. interesting <laughs> enough. So I kind of got the idea of yeah. like exactly what was going on. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, okay. This can, I'm sure, be taken out of context. Absolutely. Or in context, I guess, yeah. considering. But um, yeah. I mean, it was still, it was fun. I got to play MASH. Mm -hmm. That's always fun for me. So, right. yeah, I'm a huge Saber fan. So <laughs> I had to endure playing through that. There's like three different endings you have to choose to oh, unlock. Okay. And then you unlock the Saber story. Okay. So <laughs> I, I kind of had to suffer through that like a few there's, times. There's definitely a crowd of people that was for. I'm not necessarily one of them, yeah. but um, it was still fun, you know, just, just being able to. Uh -huh to play MASH again, like yeah, I said. I bet. When you're coming up with voices for any of the characters that you've done, is there like a sort of specific process you do? Like, do you go and like learn about their personality and then go from there um, or? Man, I wish I was that deep, honestly. I just <laughs> kind of like, if there's a picture of the character, I just kind of okay. like think of what I would make that character sound like yeah. with my own, you know, obviously um, my own limitations and like range. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes, well, at least before when I first started, I would kind of like listen to the Japanese voice if there was a Japanese voice and kind of like do the best version of that that I can within reason. Um, Cause obviously I don't have like a really super high squeaky voice. Like I can do that, but it's not super comfortable for me. Right. But I just kind of do like what is comfortable for me and kind of like, you know, do what I, again, what I think that character would sound like based off the, the photo or the description of them, so. Okay. 
So nothing, it's not anything like crazy, like, oh, I get into like character and yeah. I like go out into the woods for three days if they've done that as well. Like, uh -huh. I'm definitely not that deep about it. Okay. <laughs> if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I said it, not me. That's about all. Thank you oh, so yeah, much. Yeah, thank you.